Hey guys, it's me Casey, and welcome back as I continue on in Act 3 of the Burns' Casino event. The main quest line, Mr. Burns thinks that his casino is a success so far. Now he's hosting an award show, which I don't quite understand, and Bart is up. Hello. So, Lise, made any progress figuring out why Burns would create a money-losing casino? No, Apu is about to tell me when he got shot. The only word he managed to say was... Power. They'll get the bull out of his brain, right? Oh yeah, he's getting great medical care. In India, where it's better and cheaper. In the meantime, he can't write or speak. All he can say is, thank you, come again. That's nice. Even without a brain, he'll always have a career at the Quirky Bards. For his sake, I won't rest until I've solved the mystery of the Burns' Casino. His sacrifice of getting shot by Jailbird in a gift shop holdup will not be in vain. Really? Uh, I don't even understand what's going on now. Hold a candlelight vigil? <laughs> For eight hours? Oh, I don't even know what to say of this. It's just crazy. This. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. All this gambling got me depressed, Marge. I barely had enough energy to apply mustache promade this morning. A pomade. Used to be the highlight of my day. Now, who cares if the stash droops? Don't worry, Ned. I'm making great, great progress on starting Gamblers Anonymous. I came up with a 10-step program. 12 seems a little pretentious. I'm knitting recovery chips. All I need now is to find a space where we can meet. She still hasn't done anything with this anonymous group. It's hard to find. This town is jammed with 12-step recovery programs. A lot of messed up people here. A lot of. Someone should start a freemium phone game anonymous. That they definitely shouldn't. Is it the thing where all those people lost their anonymous games? Lisa, where have you been all day? Down at City Hall, scouring old records. Trying to solve the mystery behind Mr. Burns' building a moneyless, money losing casino? Yeah, although mostly I just like to scour old records. Well, we're both trying to solve the same problem. You by intense detective work, me by baking Gambler's Anonymous cookies. With you two on the job, I wouldn't want to be the people having a great time at the casino. No, I don't want to do that. Go away. Although it is pretty awesome. So Skinner's going to gamble without end. Krusty's going to perform until he bleeds. I don't know what that means. Willie's going to wear a suit made of dollars. Again, why? Are you going Lady Gaga style? What happened to electricity? My misting humidifier is pumping out nothing. The casino district is sucking up too much juice. The bright lights, the air conditioning, those giant fans you pretend you're skydiving over. The nuclear plant can't handle the load. Electricity, electrical power, power! That's what Apu was trying to tell me. Don't you get it? Nope. We listened to the explanation, but Princess Cashmere is starting another show. I don't have Princess Cashmere, so what the hell is your excuse now? Make adults enjoy exotic dancing. I don't have any exotic dancers. Unless you count Nelson's mom. But I guess, yeah, I guess she counts. It's so obvious. Mr. Burns created a casino district because it needs a giant amount of electricity. He doesn't care if he loses money on his casino. He'll make a fortune selling power from the nuclear plant. So, all this gambling and sin is just another way for him to get rich. It's diabolical. How is it diabolical? He's making money, giving people what they want. He's exploiting them for their weaknesses. <sighs> Why do you get to decide what's right for them? 
Bart, what did I tell you about disagreeing with your mother on high moral principles? It makes her too mad to make your favorite gravy. Discussion over. I don't... Well, she's making the damn gravy anyways. Does that mean that Bart didn't get Marge upset? I, I don't know. This is just... I mean, nobody's accomplished anything. <laughs> it's been how long? This is beautiful. And we're almost done the events. Mr. Burns, your sin suburb is drawing power like crazy. The plant can't handle the load. We'll have to run it at double capacity. Where are my workers? They're gambling or working at your casino. Either way, it pays double what the plant does. The only employee available is Homer Simpson. Very well. The three best will squeeze every urge out of this old lady. Or erg. Is that actually a word? But sir, do you know anything about operating a nuclear reactor? Pish, Smithers. I'm an old hand at a nuclear game. And I'm sure this Simpsons fellow is a wizard. Bring me my hardened hat and let's begin. The town is going to die and blow up for the second time. Let's crank this plan up to full capacity, Simpson. The switch, on or off? Not sure. Reactor rods, up or down? Definitely. I'll go with my gut. It's just a nuclear reactor. Sir, you doubled the voltage. You blew all the lights downtown. Blast. We'll have to replace all the bulbs. Here's ten dollars. Go buy a stepladder. What? I don't understand what the hell is going on. So, they decide to go back to the plant and do this? Ugh. There must be some way to turn off these reactor alarms. They're so much more annoying when they're all alarming at you. Well, it'll have to wait until after lunch. That's odd. My lunch is missing. I put it right here in the fridge. Where can it be? I don't know. Oh. Now they're breaking for lunch? The dude is a billionaire and he apparently does not have any more food. Smithers, look! I figured out what this handle does. Move it up and all the street lights go on. Down, they go off. On, off. On, off. Whee! I'm a nuclear technician! Sir, we have to get this plan under control. The city will revoke our license. But I'm a nuclear technician. I'm supposed to goof off and look at my Bathing Beauties magazine. They certainly, they certainly are lovely ladies of 1924. Dude, 1924? Um, no thanks. These power fluctuations have got to stop. The illumination of my lighted stand of Aquaman is varying unbearably. The air conditioning in the school keeps going off. Sweaty children are not learning children. We shall shut down that awful casino to save our beloved schools. No. Shut down the schools to save our beloved casino. Don't worry. I'm almost ready to start Gamblers Anonymous. <laughs> I just have to design a logo. I was thinking GA written on a playing card. But... Will that, look, will that look like an advertisement for the GA playing card company? Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm taking a sledgehammer to Springfield Elementary. Who's with me? Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Although, something is finally happening in this actual quest line and in this event. I hope you're happy, Smithers. I've hired all the plan employees back. And it's costing me a fortune. I had to double the wages and pay overtime. 
It's worse than that, sir. They also have insisted on a premium health plan. I guess it's true what they say. The wages of sin is health. Who says that? Well, I can't keep losing money like this. I'm getting out of the casino business. Let's go home. It won't be so bad. I found my issue of Bathing Beauty 1925. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Actually, having to do work at work was a nightmare. Great news, everyone! I'm finally ready to start Gamblers Anonymous! The casino craze is over, Mom. Everyone is back to the normal task list. But I needed 2 million recovery chips. Oh well, they'll probably make a nice silver throw. So, after all this time, it's too late and she just doesn't care? Like... Did she not have a, like, a, a mad bone in her body? It's basically like, oh, well, it happens. It rolls right off my back. I probably would have punched ten babies. If you love the parched, barren look of the real Las Vegas, get ready for desert-themed scenery in an update coming soon. That's it. That is the Burntus Casino event, and in my opinion, one of the, the better events that we've gotten in, in not, not a long time, but here, here's the thing. Now, this game's been out since 2012. I started covering this game back, I think, sometime early in 2013. So, I have been able to really focus on the, the dialogue aspect, the, the writing aspect in this game. And I really feel that it is very underrated. Because this sort of dialogue and stuff that we have in this game is very essential to this game. You know? I mean, people always talk about wanting different characters, all these different items. And I'm, I'm the same way, you can add me to the list as well. I'm always saying, hey, I wish we could have this character or that character. Because you can't help but not want different classic characters that's been associated for a show. That's been in the show for 27 years. But I often think that the writing gets very, very lost in all of this. Because if you take away all the writing in this game, it's, it's not that good, honestly. Yeah, you get all this awesome stuff, but I mean... You don't have that Simpsons charm, you know? It doesn't feel like you're in a Simpsons world if you don't have all this great dialogue. So you got to give a lot of kudos and props or whatever to the, the Simpsons writers of, of this game because they do a very, very good job. And I really feel they deserve a lot more credit. So that's all I'm going to say about that. If you enjoyed this video, though, please give it a thumbs up. That would be super duper awesome. Amazing. Let me know that you liked the video. Thanks for watching. My name's Casey, and I will see you on more of the Simpsons Tapped Out and this Baron's Updates. What are we going to get with that in the future? Bye-bye, guys.